Kevin! Scott Risen! You commentate with me if Ian doesn't want to. BT doesn't want to. Me. Is he going Garchomp again? Madman! Sky Rain! I'm totally That's supposed to be from the other side. Alright, Kano versus Nellite. Oh god, he's been cheating Garchomp. It's another Garchomp! Oh my god. This, is the, Jesus. this is the third Garchomp we've seen on stream, counting him. Tries to with the rabbit's man. Okay, Zanillite. Um, talking about what Zanillite did earlier, he almost beat uh, SK Dale earlier with this character. SK Dale, do you have anything to say about this Garch about this Blastoise? He's played the Astro. Yeah, definitely. He, he's always. He's, he's always, always the aggressor. Yeah, he's the always the one. It's first working. One to press the button. It's working out for him enough. But it's like against higher tier players. I thought it was Dragon Rush. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, Zanella coming in with that perfect, though. I think yeah, Zanella's Black Choice is perfectly good to beat up Sakano's guard drop because, like, if Sakano's going super aggressive and Zanella's going super aggressive, then Zanella's probably going to be pretty good. Like, you see, he's just kind of. Because Kano like, isn't. He, he, didn't really play he didn't really play reactionary against DT, right? I, mean, I wasn't watching. I, oh, no, you guys were playing at the same time. Um, yeah, I think he plays more aggressive, and I think that'll work in Zanellite's favor. He go he does really well against aggressive character, other aggressive play people, but not against Reactionary. Reactionary is going to be terrible. Nice rabbit spin there. He tries to grab that. Yeah, that's a weird setup. That's a really weird setup. You kind of just have to wait. Yeah, you can't punish Rapid Yeah, you can't. Unless he tries to go for another one. Call an ET. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. ET. Oh, oh my god. god. I no. saw the vision. <laughs> he got the hit on that. Yeah, it does have a hitbox going up. I don't think it's in line. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's gonna be minus 20. That, that's a dead it's man. Just grab. Just, just grab. Just grab. Just grab. There you go. Yep. I think he heard me. He didn't do that last time after that. Well, and no, you weren't on the wall when you did that. They, they literally just all press the reversal buttons all at once there. Mm -hmm. Like, you burst, I burst, I umbreon, you burst. Oh, <laughs> There's something everyone needs to remember, including myself, that it technically, you're just, you're only minus, you're only like barely minus when you use your burst in the middle of the field, right? I'm, I'm minus 16 no matter where I am, it's just, you have a frame 15 move that reaches me. That's right. Right. Not a lot of characters have that, that's the problem. I think that even if uh, characters have like 15 moves that are far reaching, like 2x is frame mate. Wait, it's, it's 19. It's 19? Yeah. Um, but like even like some moves that are frame 15 that could reach, the hitbox will reach that point later. Like yeah. for example, my 2x. My, it 2X, takes my a 2x is frame 15, but the farthest reaching hitbox reaches the hit later. It, it takes a hitbox. split second, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like on if you're gonna if you if you want to try and whiff your burst as Garchomp, do it in the middle of the field. Oh, you don't want to whiff it. You, wanna you don't want to whiff it, but it's like whiffing it. Oh, if you yeah, feel like you're in a, if you feel like you're not good enough as a Garchomp player and you feel like you want to whip, if you feel like you're gonna whip a lot of your bursts, mm -hmm. always try and use your burst outside, outside the wall, <laughs> away from it. <laughs> nice and we'll call that a bit there with Kana. I'm gonna get back to that by the way. We I, I think too much about in this now. matchup here, with the, how the Kana plays, ooh, nice. He plays <laughs> way more reactionary. Yeah, yeah. The way the way that he plays it rewards. So wars himself so much more against Zanillite because he he just waits for Zanillite to press the button, right? It's and still yeah. You know, like you saw before earlier with the uh, fire blast, then uh, Zanillite rapid spinning through the fire blast and gets QQQ for it. Yeah, but it still worked out for him. Uh, Zanillite did get around, did get the round, so he's on match point now. Nice Fennekin call there. I still don't know why. I like I know why he uses Fennekin, and it's a dumb reason. Can you burst and shelter? Nice grab there by Zanillite. Like, I know why he uses Fennekin. I know exactly why, but he doesn't do it. Little brother. Little, 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 little sister, little brother. Yeah. Called that 2 uh, 6 wide, a little too late. That's gonna I, think was, I think that was early on the burst, to be honest. It was, like, it was a little early, so he probably could have gotten every single hit there. It's, it's gotta do like. 140 damage instead of 150. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Look at that. Oh, no. It literally only did like 130 damage. <laughs> nice fireballs there. Is it worth the big boys? Yeah. Back up. There you go. That was good. That was a good job by that resin Watch him. Wow, that all time. This. 
Nice underground call. Covering himself. Ooh, nice grab. He's, he's gonna get blasted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he could have shot again. He could have shot again and killed. He probably could have. Yeah. Nice Wait, he'll, he'll get that 4 Y. Is that it? Shot that is it. That's 2-0. That was very quick. 2 0 is an ally. Alright. Okay, we should just let E.T. and Vanilla have this. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yeah. You guys should just drop and let that No, happen. we're not gonna drop. Alright. But...